Welcome, Outlander. <laughs> Journeys unknown, the Nora returned to the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. Lots of bats still fluttering about. One scared Abaddon so bad, he almost chucked his shards. Did you find more ornaments in your travels? I did. Here. So, are you feeling festive? Take your pick. Let's put this one up. By our heroine's word, the lights would dazzle the sky. Almost ready to go. Fireworks like Moreland's. And all that other stuff floating around. Uh, I don't think so. No. Vanira said her father's hunting camp should be near here. Did it glide in? Hunting camp. This must be where Vanira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. A jar of oil knocked over a flood. Must be Vanira's. From when her father gashed her. Let's see where this leads. Strider. And a lot of traps. I must be Garoka. I better help him. Let's see what you've got. Thanks for the assist, Hunter. Come. Let's speak. You fight like you're a Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Fenira asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come, we have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest. They're about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? 
Mercola's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. Ambush! Sky Clan has found us! What? No! Not them! Stalkers! Get to the squad. Garoka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good. Squad, we're what? No, an old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. Garoka, who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been... 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. But you've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No! Everything is... a fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it. Lost. My blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just... alone in the forest. How long has it been like this? This fog? Weeks. Months, maybe. At first I thought it was a passing thing. Like forgetting after a knock on the head. Then names and faces became... difficult. And I started finding myself in the forest, unsure how I got there. Why haven't you told Fenira? What was I supposed to say? That I'm unraveling like a frayed, weak rope? No! But look where that's gotten you. She has no idea why you hurt her. So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? We were almost through with our patrol. About to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. Earlier, you said the enemy had been trying to take the Lowland Territory for years. I guess that was during the Clan Wars? Before Hikaru became our chief, our clans were constantly at war. We fought over every inch of this forest. The ruined village nearby is a remnant of those days. No matter how many soldiers fell, there was always another vendetta to pursue. They say that's why the wood of the Sentinels runs red. For the generations of blood spilled. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal. Made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? 
It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Okay. I should scan the memorial with my focus. Tracks. Leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Clamber jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavengers. On your lead. Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case more machines show up. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. Got the marker. Now to give this back to Kuroka. Over here, Aloy. Did you find it? Here. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. Thank you, Eli. Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Gorok has been running off. Back to Tide's Rage, then.
Aloy, you're back. But where's my father? It's okay. I found him. He's not deranged, Fenira. He's been forgetting things more and more. He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. Said it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Garuka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. So that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Oh, little spear. I... I'm so sorry. It's all right, Father. You're home safe. <laughs> and I understand now. When the fog comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Thank you for your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy. There's a Kota. Ready to hunt some machines. 
from Aloy. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close, as are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. I've hunted this forest since I was a boy. And when the clans were at war, Shikata and I helped hold it from the Lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Shikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for United Tribe, and volunteered for the very first cool route. I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often, and I was always glad when he did. There, the machines. I've heard of your skill, so I'll follow your lead. But be careful, there may be more about it. I'm on it. Try something other than fire. Was a hunt. You fought well. Better than any marshal. Better than Shikata, even. You too. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, I felt an ache. In my chest. I know he's gone forever. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. He did a good thing for the village and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. 
Here, take this. You deserve it. You're young and strong with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday you could come back if you're up for another hunt. That just might be.